Acadiana, are you guys ready to dance? As Mickey Loomis, what is it like in the war room with him and Sean Payton as the clock is ticking? And usually teams like to start off with their best arm on game two. Nationwide is on your side. Over at LSU, the Tigers are prepping for their upcoming football season. The predictions are out. Bama will be the power team out of the SEC. Hey guys, we are still hanging out here in Jenner as you can see the wind is picking up tremendously. Right behind me, a tree fell down on a house. No one was injured. And let's talk about some Pelicans who started the summer league stretch yesterday and the world watch new house name Zion Williamson only played nine minutes. When you get the rain, you stay cooler yeah, than this is true. that heat. And I'm pretty sure all the football players who are in training camp right now are pretty ecstatic about that rain because it's cooling them down as they're out there grinding. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> all right, guys, now it's my turn to go inside and try out my baseball skills. Unfortunately, I need to stick to um, reporting more than um, actually playing. So. You guys, what an experience that was. And if you want the opportunity to win UL season baseball tickets, here's where you need to be at. Bring out the helmets and the pads because training camp for the Raging Cajuns football team just started a few minutes ago. Now this program has a few advantages going into the new season. The players now have a year of experience under head coach Billy Napier and his coaching staff. So the uncertainty of the playbook should be thrown out of the window. Yesterday at Media Day, the message was very clear. This team this upcoming season is bigger, faster, stronger, and won't be consumed with results, but focus on the work to get those results. The expectations were definitely set here at Sunbelt Media Day. It's only year two of Billy Napier's air, and the Raging Cajuns are entering their season as one of the top programs in the conference. The guys are returning to the field with 17 starters and a new quarterback leader. UO is projected to return back to the Sunbelt Conference Championship game. Now, Coach Napier's previous experience before UL has always been from an offense perspective. Having a loaded offense team this year, he told me this is the most fun he's had in his career. She's speaking with the Marshal. Shakira, what can you tell us? Hey guys, we're still here in Jenneret. Things are really picking up out here. I'm standing next to Marshall Martin. You guys just responded to an emergency. What's been the conditions that you guys have been facing? We've been facing Every TV in the house is on the tennis channel. So we've even named our pets after tennis players. That's all the talk every day. After joining a tennis league, Maria Landreth didn't know she and her husband were gifting their two sons with a new family tradition. Both of them would come and they would watch the matches. And so it began. Their oldest son Grant and then little brother Mason. He is a model for me, so I just want to be like him. Pick up and jump in. Good. I feel like he looks up to me, too, so I have to set a good example for him. And to be able to have two boys, you know, one that looks up so much to the other one, it's a, a true blessing. I just tell him to keep his head up high, keep working hard, and keep, keep the love and passion he has for it. Sending dad to one state and mom to the other state, tennis became a pastime sport with many memories for the two siblings. And they just given up so much for us to have the opportunities that are provided for us and I'm very thankful. But we always say that it's given us memories of a lifetime. With one last family goal, the brothers will finally become teammates this year at St. Thomas More High School. They back each other up, they help each other. They'll usually say, hey, you know, you need to move up on this, or you need to move back on that, or one another, you know, without being critical. And now that I'll have my brother with me, it's going to be even better. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. I have the team. I have friends on the team. I've watched him at State for three years, and I just can't wait. Kira Martin, News 15 Sports.